I missed a few ornaments when we took them off the tree the other day. Is it gonna be easier for you to go out the front door or the back door? The time has come to take the Christmas stuff down to the shed. I'm pretty sure I have everything in here except the little Christmas tree. We're leaving it for just a little while. And all the little winter trees that I left out. But there's enough room in this box. I marked it Christmas slash winter. There's enough room to just come down to the shed and put those trees in there when we get finished with them. You thought I was a squirrel? Standing on that stuff right there. Mm -hmm. There you stand on it, then jump. And then you jump, okay. Stand on it, now jump. <laughs> Woo. No, 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 no. Oh, Not I didn't do it right. That. Okay. I, I just come on the stump, then do it like that. Okay, and then do it like that. Was that it? I'm gonna jump farther. <laughs> I'll just keep practicing. Yeah. So here's what I did over here where the Christmas tree was. Just brought this rocking chair in from outside. I cleaned it up really good and brought it in. This rug was in my room. I thought I would bring it in here and see how it looked and I really like it because it's a white, like it's a cream colored rug up against the darker floor within the rocking chair. And like I said, we're keeping this Easy little tree. Yeah, we're keeping the little tree out for just a little bit longer. And this, does anybody know what this is? A camel saddle? It's a camel saddle. Our neighbor gave this to us a couple months ago, I think now. I can't remember, did, she, did Jackie say how old this camel saddle was? It's gotta be pretty old, but I love it. Isn't yeah, it great? Yeah, it's for camels, why? <laughs> Why ain't Daddy going to ride a camel with this camel saddle? He needs to, doesn't he? Daddy, uh -huh. you need to ride a camel with this camel saddle. I think uh -huh. it's actually to put on the camel and then you pack stuff on it, you know? It's for packing camels, maybe, I guess. I'm really not sure. Never yeah, ridden a camel before. A on it. I did ride an elephant one time at a circus. That was fun. Never ridden a camel. <laughs> maybe I did ride, um... Uh, other gator when I was little. What? We gotta get over here and start cooking before Daddy starts saying he rode something like a dinosaur or something. Okay, breakfast for supper. Sausage gravy biscuits, some hash browns, and I'm gonna try making them in my waffle maker. 
They're still frozen because I just last minute decided to do this breakfast for supper. I was gonna make pork chops and I sat them out earlier to thaw, but they're still really frozen. Titus got home earlier than I thought he was going to. And that was gonna take a little while to cook. I was gonna make pork chops with Hasselback potatoes and a couple of other sides. So we'll save that for tomorrow. I was gonna do haircuts too this afternoon. Time just got away from me today. I was gonna give Jonah and Manly a haircut. Tyler and Jacob, they go to a barber now most of the time. Sometimes I still cut Tyler's, but. Okay. You must have had a dream about that, y'all. No, it wasn't a dream. It was a really nice. Okay. Yeah, before I knew it, it was after 4 o'clock. So, yeah, we took all our Christmas stuff down to the shed. When I got back up here, I found like three or four more. They, I'll find Christmas things around for the next few weeks. Got the butter chopped up. I already had the oven preheated to 350. We have the buttermilk here. This was just the great value. Buttermilk. They put it in that carton that you know if you don't use it all at one time it's very easy to spill in your refrigerator because it doesn't have you know any kind of twist top or anything it's just like an old school carton <laughs> so I put the rest of it in this jar I used to hate making breakfast for supper time I don't know why I just I never never liked it Titus used to want it a lot <laughs> he would always be like let's make breakfast for supper I don't know why I didn't like it I just I didn't but now like today I was actually glad to make it because I really want some hash but that's why it's the hash browns. It's the hash browns. <laughs> oh I need to be washing some eggs too. I think I only have a couple in the refrigerator. Yep. You hold the bowl and I'll put the eggs in, okay? You got it? Uh-huh. How many do you think we're gonna need? Um, ten. Ten? Uh -huh. Probably about right. You got it? done. Let me check them and then we'll brown the top. Just about two and a half more minutes. And then they'll be ready. Sausage is almost done and ready to make the gravy and I might have to put these half browns on a pan over here. They're going to take too long in the waffle maker. Just taking a little while. We're getting there now. Still got a little ways to go though. I'm going to go ahead and start the other hash browns over here because that's still going to be taking a minute. How do you want your eggs, Manny? Scrambled. Scrambled. Go ask Cece if she wants scrambled. We also have cinnamon rolls left over. And a taste tester. And a taste tester. <laughs>
already in his buffalo check jammies, still working. Yeah. Jonah's latest artwork. It's nice. We're gonna mix up some oatmeal for baked oatmeal in the morning. This is a cinnamon sugar baked oatmeal. We'll call it snickerdoodle baked oatmeal because it's like snickerdoodly with snickerdoodly. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need cinnamon. Uh, the only thing I need to do is melt some butter. Everything else we're just mixing together tonight and it's gonna all bake in the oven in the morning. Bowl. We'll start with two eggs, half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a tablespoon of vanilla, quarter teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. We'll leave that out because we'll need some more in a minute. We'll whisk all of this together. Now we'll add the melted butter and one and one fourth of a cup of milk. Now we're going to stir in three cups of old fashioned oats. We'll spray this casserole dish and just pour it in. Now we're just going to mix half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a tablespoon of sugar. And we're going to sprinkle this all over the top and then cover it and put it in the refrigerator. And in the morning, while the oven's preheating to 350, we'll take it out and just let it sit out while the oven preheats. And then it just bakes for about 30 to 35 minutes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 